Wann macht es Sinn? When does it make sense to install and discharger? This is exactly the question we are often asked, and I would like to answer it in this video. First of all, what is our discharger? Our discharger is a system that can discharge the high voltage within a very short time, and, unlike a grounding switch, works completely electronically without sparks. We control it with 24 volts. But there is also an integrated version where the discharger is installed directly on the high voltage generator. This one is intended as a retrofit solution. For example, if you don't have high voltage from us, but don't want to do without the discharger. So, when should I use it? Quite simply, whenever time plays a role. I, when I want to be discharged as quickly as possible after switching off the high voltage. Normally, high voltage systems are discharged purely via the measuring resistor of the high voltage generator, which means that we discharge according to any function. The discharger is extremely fast, but let's take a quick look at this in detail. Also, normalerweise so, normally the high voltage is discharged via the measuring resistor in the high voltage generator. This resistance is usually between 2, perhaps 1.5 gigaohms, and 10 gigaohms. For our calculation example, we will simply take 5 gigaohms as measuring resistor. If we now paint, powder coat, flock, whatever, with a certain voltage, in our example painting with 90 kilovolts, If we switch off the high voltage at this point, the following happens. We discharge at this point phi to 5 gigrom resistor. Is U divided by R, meaning 90 kilovolts divided by 5 gigrohms equals 18 microamperes. This means that we are discharging with 18 microamperes. It may be accelerated a little at the beginning by the spraying of the spray system. But let's assume the 18 microamperes. And as the voltage decreases, the discharge current also decreases. For example, at 45 kilovolts, we have 45 kilovolts divided by 5 gigrohms. This means we are still at 9 microamperes, and correspondingly at 9 kilovolts, we are still at 1.8 microamperes. And this results in any function. The system is only safely discharged from 1 kV. We always specify 500 volts as the safety value, and we are only safely discharged above this safety threshold. This means, for example, that if a car body is painted within 60 seconds and I want to drive into a bell cleaner between two bodies, then of course I can only drive into the bell cleaner once the load has been removed at least down to below the ignitable level, i.e. down to a few hundred volts. And depending on the system, it takes between 7 and even 30 seconds, depending on the capacity of the system. If we now do the same with the discharger, we again switch the high voltage at 90 kV. We switch off again at approximately the same point, Then the following happens. The discharger draws a constant 200 microamperes. This means that we discharge in a constant discharge with 200 microamperes. This means that even large systems, i.e. a water-based paint system with a capacity of 2 nanofarads, are discharged from 100 kilovolts to zero within one second. Let's take a look at it in practice. So here we have our demo model with a discharger. In this case, a Smarty 510 with an integrated discharger. So it is piggybacked onto the high voltage generator. We have three LEDs, paint once, wait. Wait means the high voltage is switched off, but not yet safely discharged. And green means safely discharged, no longer ignitable. If we now start the whole thing without a discharger, we ramp up to 85 kilovolts. We have switched on the high voltage for 10 seconds. After 10 seconds, we switch it off, and then we can also see the LEDs. 
We have switched from high voltage is on to high voltage is off, but not yet discharged. And now we can also see here on the display how slowly the high voltage is discharging. I have to admit that we have also installed two nanofarads of capacity here. In other words, this is the equivalent of an extremely large water-based paint system, but it simply shows very impressively the difference between unloading with a discharger and without a discharger. Soon we'll switch over, and down here we'll time how long it takes and it has now taken 36.1 seconds. If we now do the same with the discharger, the 85 kV is also applied again. We have switched on the high voltage for 10 seconds, switch off and are immediately green. So, here you can see very impressively when you need the discharger. You always need it when time plays a role after switching off. I hope that was interesting, and if you have any further questions, please contact us. We will be happy to help.